Welcome back everybody. Today we are checking out vase mode and as you can see I've already got it going here. I did not know if this was going to work. The slicer seemed a little, a little weird. But let's actually jump into the past and see how things went with the slicer. Alright, we are here in the past and we're going to grab our vase model. I have this vase solid model that I found on Thingiverse. And this one is made for vase mode. Now, I'm not entirely sure why it needs to be solid for vase mode. Um, I would hope that it doesn't fill in the top, but let's see. Let's come into special modes. Spiralize outer contour. This is the Anchor Make Slicer version of vase mode. So let's turn that on. Smooth spiraled contours, what does it say? Smooth the spiralized contours to reduce the visibility of the seam. The Z seam should be rarely visible on the print, but will still be visible in the later view. Note that smoothing will tend to blur fine the surface details, as opposed to what? Like sharp angles? I mean, this is a, kind of a lot of sharp angles. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure what that is gonna do. Uh, we'll see. And then for the quality, I wanted it at 0.3. Um, and then everything else, I don't think it matters. Let's slice it, see what it does. All right, let's see what our result is. Oh boy, um, 80,000 layers. I don't think that's right. I do not think that's right. Actually, it's because I have supports on. This cannot have supports. So it could have been nice if it had told me that it couldn't do supports, but still, this doesn't quite look right. So I have no idea how this would work. It looks cool. It's like a cool constellation. But I don't know that I trust that to print something actually. So what we can do is we can start the print and we'll see if it does anything. And then hopefully, no, let's tinker around a little bit. See if we can't get zero infill, top thickness, top layers zero, walls, Material, speed, should be able to go pretty fast, right? Travel, cooling, let's go back to Overture Silk PLA. Okay, let's slice this, see what it looks like. Okay, so it's still the Constellation. So I have no idea what it's doing, but it looks like it's treating everything as like every point the print is making every turn that the print is making more than that as a layer which I guess it makes sense you wouldn't really it's all one layer technically because it's all just one continuous Z movement but let's start this print and see if it turns out like we are expecting it to and if it doesn't we will stop the print so let's do it We'll let it generate the AI image, which I don't know how it's gonna read any of this stuff unless it just freezes here. Because I don't know how it's gonna generate an AI image for that. Okay, it did. All right, we'll choose our printer and we'll click print. Let's go see what this looks like and we'll keep an eye on the first few layers. All right, so we've got the printer starting on its base layer. I'm pretty sure it does a solid first base layer. So we'll see what it does. I'm pretty sure it's gonna do a zigzag or like opposite directions on the first two layers. And then we'll see where it gets to for the vase mode action. And I'm ready to hit that stop button if something doesn't look right. Okay, so it's going in circles along the first layer. Is that the first layer? So maybe it did only do... Okay, there's the second layer. I was gonna get a little bit concerned if it wasn't 
gonna do another zigzag layer across. I guess I should bring you guys in closer so you can see this. So it's doing a third layer here. I'm not sure why it's doing three. Maybe I just saw it wrong, but I didn't think it was doing three. But hopefully after this layer, it'll start just going in this in a circle in the base mode. We'll see what it does. If it keeps doing the same thing, then I'm gonna stop it because that's not what it's supposed to do. And it would seem like it's making it a solid, solid print. Is it ironing it? I think it is ironing it. It is ironing this layer. Okay, so it thinks this is the top, so that's good. It's ironing to make it really smooth inside. I think this is cool. I've actually never watched the ironing process before. So from my angle, it's like doing one row at a time and it's just getting shiny. Just over halfway through the ironing. I think it'll leave a cool finish if it, I mean, it's gonna be in the bottom of the vase, so I won't be able to see it much. But this gives me hope that it knows what it's doing. So we'll see what this starts doing on this next layer. All right, now we should see, once it finishes this next point, these last points, we should see that it starts to just go in a circle. Okay. And it is. It's just going up. So it is just building the layers up in a spiral, going up each layer. Cool. I didn't look to see how much filament this print was going to take, but so far it is not an airtight or watertight vase. I see some gaps in the layers already. This is 0.3 layer height, so that could definitely be contributing to a little bit of a lack of detail or a lack of adhesion between layers. I just wanted to go 0.3 because it would be faster. Yeah, so far this is what it's this is what it's doing. As you can see, it's still going. I did just get an, uh, an AI error, but there's nothing wrong with it, which is unfortunately a common theme up through now. Just lots of false errors on the AI detection, but the vase mode is working right now and we just got to keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't do that top layer like it showed in the slicer or the before slicing since it was a solid model but anywho it's working and we'll just have to check it out when it finishes so I'll see you back here in 53 minutes which for you guys will be a couple seconds okay so we're here about 30 minutes later we're at 24 minutes left, and as you can see, it's going pretty well. I think the shape is turning out really cool. I decided to just let it go because I think this will be a cool pencil holder or tool holder or spare parts holder, uh, something like that. We'll talk about the water tightness later. Um, but I have gotten probably four AI errors as this has been printing. And as you can obviously tell, there has been nothing wrong. So the AI definitely still has some work. Anyway, let's check back in in about 23 minutes and we'll see how it turns out. All right, we're back about 20 minutes later or so, about one minute left on the print. But as you can see, the red light is again flashing. So that means the AI detected another error. And again, it there's nothing wrong. So uh, let's go ahead and dismiss it and we'll see what the printer says, 50 seconds. And there we have it, the print has finished. And just like that, we're done in one hour, eight minutes and 45 seconds with 29 grams of filament. All right, let's pop this off. It should be cool enough now. There we go, let's slap that back on there. And there we have it, there's our vase. And first impression, it looks cool. Second impression, definitely not a very sturdy structure. 
but there's a few slight imperfections but hardly noticeable at all but i really do think that the design is pretty cool but like i mentioned at the beginning that these layers really aren't very well adhered together so as a fun little experiment we're gonna dump some water into this guy so i've got the vase i've got a vessel to catch everything we're gonna see just how not watertight this is okay ready all right here we go <laughs> so definitely not watertight so this would not be a plant vase or anything i guess it could work as a plant vase it might get some good some good oxygen into your plant soil but for the most part this is obviously not a liquid container so this would be good as I don't know, a fake flower holder. You could put some fake flowers in it. Honestly, I don't know <laughs> much what else it would be good for. You could put some like screwdrivers in it. Like I said, some small pieces of something. I honestly don't know. All right, that does it for this video. Checking out base mode in the Anchor Make Slicer and the Anchor Make M5. Here's the result, works pretty well and I'm pleased with the outcome and now I just need to find something to do with this and if you like this video make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button because you guys are awesome and there's already 68 of you and I hope that you'll stick around for more videos so until next time see ya